Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome back to our Lotto Friday watch list for this Friday, January 13th. I put these lists out for you guys for free every single day. Thank you guys for being here. If you're new, we're going to change the way that you guys trade. Not necessarily with this video right here, but with this channel, guys, I have 350 plus videos for you guys to learn off of, okay? How to learn this strategy, how to learn exactly how I trade every single day. I want to jump into this watch list real quick. First things first, this screen that you see here, that is TradingView. If you've never used something like this or you're looking to try TradingView, down below in the description, there is a link. That link gets you a free 30-day trial to TradingView, okay, to their subscription-based services. And then if you decide to use that subservice with TradingView, you get up to $30 off of your subscription. So make sure you are taking advantage of that offer of that deal. I'm on Twitter at Mr. Clark Griswold. You can leave your comments down below or you can get a hold of me in the trading Discord. Now, within that Discord, I give the top five plays out of these videos that I put out for free every single day. I give the top fives to the members. Now, the Discord's free to join. There is a paid membership. It's 50 bucks a month or you buy two months, you get a month free. And you get a ton of great value for that. You get a one-hour strat course. You get one-on-one -on -one time with myself uh, through a Google Meet or Zoom. Uh, you get live trading bots, so the trades come directly to you guys. You don't have to go searching them out. Uh, there's a strat indicator that I've created for you guys and a bunch of other really great stuff. So make sure you're checking that out as well. Let's get started on this list. Alibaba. Baba is the first one on this list. They're in no particular order. Baba has a two down, finished red, and what we call a hammer candle. Okay, with this body at the top with a big long wick. So we're going to look for calls to go to the upside. 113.79 is our strike price, uh, is our trigger price. Your strike price you can take as 114, 114.50, 115, something like that. Um, as we talk about this stuff, guys, um, I want you to understand that what we talk about here is based off of probability. So I don't know what this next candle is going to be. You don't know the next guy, next guy, the next guy. Nobody knows what the next candle is going to be, but we have a probability of what is going to happen. And that's all trading is, is basing off of uh, high probability trades. So this is a two down. It's a hammer candle. We'll look for calls in this situation on BABA. So we head on to Moderna. Moderna, same thing. Two down, finished green. So this gives me a higher probability that we're going to trend back to the upside. It's what we call a 1-2-2 two, two rev strat. So a 1-2 two down, 2 up. Hammer candle, full time frame continuity, part of the indicator that I created for you guys. And you guys can buy that indicator separately. It's in the link in the description below. And it gives you this time frame continuity. Gives you these candlestick numbers. Gives you these yellow inside bars. The white outside bars or three bars. And a bunch of other really great stuff. Uh, the Sarah Strat Sniper 50% rule on the day, the week, and the month etc etc so this is moderna two down green hammer candle we'll look for calls at 189 29 we'll move on to apple apple also has a hammer candle so we're going to look for this to trend back to the upside with full time frame continuity uh, we'll look for calls at 134 26 if you're wondering where to put the targets guys those green lines that's where you should be getting out of the trade if we you know, we use our targets or the candlesticks to get us out of a trade. If you don't know how to do that, go check out any of my review videos or the learning tool videos. Okay, so here would be one trigger or target. The next target would go up to the top of that candle. Then the next target to the top of the next preceding wick. So that's what we've got looking at on Apple. We move on to AMC. AMC has a two up that finished red. Okay, so what that tells me is there's probability that we may trend back down on Friday. So we can look for puts at $4.74 and good magnitude down to the downside at $4.31 here. That's our first target. We move on to BAC. So BAC, Bank of America, two up red. We'll call that a shooter candle It's a, or an inverse hammer. It's the opposite of a hammer candle and it's a bearish pattern. So again, we have that two up. It finished red. We're going to look for this to trend back down. We've got the hourly, the daily, and the weekly. In our favor, we're going to look for puts at $34.36. And guys, if these day trade setups, like you don't have to base it off of this. You can go on to any time frame. During the day, you can hop down to the 15 minute and look for this same kind of setup or look for an inside bar setup. Okay, you can go to the five minute, you can go to the one hour, you can go to the 30. It doesn't matter. If this stuff doesn't work for you guys, hop down to a smaller time frame. 
set your triggers and targets on those time frames and then hop down to an even smaller time frame. So you would set your triggers and targets on let's say the 30 or the 15 and then you would manage that trade off of the five. And again, if you don't know how to do that, go check out the review videos that I have for you guys. Uh, like I was saying, BAC, we're going to look for puts here, 34, 36, first target at $34. Cisco, two up red, looking for puts at 48.85. Move on to DocuSign, two up red, we'll look for puts at 57.75. Etsy has an inside bar. So again, if we don't know about inside bars, let's talk about them. Inside bars are these yellow bars painted yellow with my strat indicator. Uh, we're looking for it to break either side. And if you're struggling or new to trading, I always tell people to look for these inside bars uh, because they're they're the easiest and most simple thing to play. And that's how I started becoming successful is when I first started playing inside bars. That's what really kind of changed my trajectory. Uh, but we look at these inside bars and we look at them as consolidating candles or a tightening range. They don't break the high or the low of the previous candle. They stay within the range of the previous candle. And when you get that, you get a, you can imagine a spring being loaded, compacted, squished down, and when you release it, you're looking for an explosion to one direction or the other, like we saw here. Okay, for three straight days, we ran up. This inside bar, we triggered and we broke down. Okay, this inside bar, we gapped, but it was a really, really big run to the downside, and that's, that's what we're looking for off of these. Now, if these plays gap, meaning tomorrow morning when the market opens, if we're opening, you know, let me grab a... A rectangle here if we open up like this okay or if we open up like this that's a gap that's a morning gap well I'll put a video at the end that'll show you guys exactly how to play those gap plays uh, that, that you always hear people talking about that you hear myself talking about and it's it's really really simple you can basically work it off of the five the 3, the 15, the 10, the 30. I like the 15, but go watch one of those videos and it'll explain exactly how to play the gaps uh, if we gap up or down in the mornings. Okay, so that's the setup on Etsy. We're going to move on to EW. So EW also has one of these inside bars, so calls at 78.49. And if you're wondering where I'm calling out the numbers from, guys, they're on the right-hand side here. 78.49 puts at 76.78, and the green marks out or delineates the targets okay yes there probably should be a target here we have a high of 78.50 and then this candle is a high of 78.49 so there's a penny difference so i gave us a little bit more room there picking up a different target jp morgan two up red we can call that a shooter candle so a bearish pattern we're gonna look for puts at 139.22 and then the two targets marked out for us accordingly we move on to pfizer so Pfizer, here's that hammer candle we were talking about. Pfizer has a two down, finish green. Okay, so we're going to look for calls on Pfizer at 47.72. That's going to be our, our trigger price, your strike price that you can take. Uh, you can probably use like a 40, what are we, 47.72, probably use a 48 is what I would use as a, a strike price. And I take closest expiry, I take Friday expiries. If we're closing on a Friday, then I take zero DTEs if I can. Doesn't mean you have to, uh, I'm very comfortable with that. You guys need to be comfortable. If you're not, get a couple weeks out, okay? Nothing wrong with that. Uh, Procter & Gamble, inside bar on PG. So I'm just gonna change these to green. We'll mark out targets. And you can see here, guys, the last inside bars, we're big run up, inside bar, big run up, inside bar, big run down. That's exactly what we're looking for. That's three straight inside bars off of Procter & Gamble that did exactly what they were supposed to do. And, and that's the probability game. Yes, the probabilities tell us that we should be running through these inside bars and making big gains. Does it always happen? No, it doesn't. And that's where the risk management comes in. And the best, trade, best traders are the ones who are able to manage that risk the best. And that's really what it comes down to. Um, if you can let your runners run and cut your losers, be a really good risk manager, then you become a really, really great trader. Okay, so inside bar on PG, calls 151.73, puts at 149.52 on Procter & Gamble. Guys, if this stuff is helping you out, make sure you give me a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed, make sure you're following along with all this stuff, because I do put these out every single day, as long as I'm not sick and don't have COVID. 
<laughs> or lacking energy, I do put these videos out for you guys for free every single day, plus all the learning tools that I have out there to really let you guys immerse yourself in this strategy. So Roblox, two down, finish green, another hammer candle there. And we're going to look for calls at 33.18 with a first, actually, we're going to move that up. That's not correct. 33.24 is the trigger price and a, and a strike or a first target at 33.50 on RBLX. We move on to Starbucks with an inside bar on SBUX. So Starbucks, we can look for calls at 106.44. Puts at 105.17 on Starbucks and there's your targets marked out for you guys. We'll move on to Tesla. Tesla with a two down green hammer candle. So calls at 124.13 on Tesla. And let's put a first target there. And let's give you guys a second target. Uh, second target there at 128.62. So that is the setup on Tesla with that two down green hammer candle. Wells Fargo WFC two up red shooter candle. So a bearish pattern. We're going to look for puts at 42.80. And we'll mark our target. So that's good magnitude back down to the downside at 4205. And just a lot of chop on WFC in this range here. XLU, two up red. So we look for puts at 71.53. And that is the list, guys. So hopefully you found it helpful. Make sure at the end of this video, you're checking out those learning tool videos, the gap videos, and we'll have one other one on there. But there are a learning tool playlist, a gap play video and then one other video to help you guys out. Good luck trading on Lotto Friday. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Wish you nothing but the best, nothing but green, and we will see you all on the next one. Bye-bye.